Anita Evans here for Video Language Network, the unique website for authentic English video lessons. Here at Video Language Network, we believe that improving your English begins by watching and listening to English as it is spoken in the real world. Today, we're going to watch and listen to part of an interview with Chris Boykus, art historian, professor, and owner of an art gallery in Paris. In the following segment, I asked Chris about his upcoming art show. Before watching the interview, let's talk about the word show. Now, many of you know that to show is a verb, meaning to display, demonstrate, or exhibit. The noun show means the same thing, except instead of being an action, it's a thing a noun. So when we discuss Chris's next show, we mean his next art exhibit. Watch this segment and remember, you don't have to understand every word. Just try to understand the basic meaning, the rest will follow. I'll be back right after with more of your lesson of the day. Here we go. Chris, I know you always have some interesting shows coming up. What's the next one? I suppose the most important this year will be a show of one of the best artists in the gallery. His name is uh, William Untermalen. And it's a show that will begin probably late November and run through January of next year. And he's still living right now? No, he died uh, last spring. He died in March of this year, of 2007. So this is a post-mortem Absolutely. Exhibition. This is in many ways a commemorative exhibition mm -hmm. and we will be showing uh, essentially his drawings or works on paper from very early, from the days that he was in art school in Philadelphia from 1949 to his very, very last drawings which are the ones that most interest, if you like, the doctors, the neurologists mm -hmm. or the uh, dementia and Alzheimer's specialists which the very, very last drawings were done around 2000, 2001. Hi. Anita Evans back again. Let's look at some more vocabulary that relates to Chris's next show. The artist to be featured in Chris's next show has died. So we call this show a postmortem, from the Latin meaning literally after death. What's interesting about this expression is that we sometimes use it in business to mean the discussion of an event after it has happened, especially of what was wrong with it or why it failed. This is kind of a cool expression to use in business and when spoken in the right context will impress your colleagues with your knowledge of colloquial English. In line with the expression post-mortem, Chris says that the show is a commemorative exhibition. Here, the word commemorative means in memory of, or to remember officially and give respect to a person or event. Listen again to the segment and see if you can understand these words in context. Post-mortem, commemorative. We hope you have enjoyed today's lesson from Video Language Network. For more lessons like the one you just viewed, join us at our website, www.videolanguagenetwork.com. At our website, you can download more video lessons, plus you can download transcripts, vocabulary aids, and exercises that will help you improve your English language skills. That's all for now. Look for us next time on your local podcast sites. This is Anita Evans for Video Language Network. Bye-bye.